Ah, the Munich residence, the city palace. Unique in its beauty, distinctive in design and construction. But there's something wrong here. Enhance. Dark. Why is there an Italian flag on top of the residence? Because it isn't the Munich residence. It's the Palazzo Pitti in Florence. The residence is a copy of, or let's say it's inspired by, Renaissance Palace Pitti and in parts by Palazzo Rucellai in Florence. King Ludwig I of Bavaria, not the Mad King, had the building built between 1826 and 1835. It's best if I turn around to finally see an original building. Shot stop at the opera? The Palais Thuring Jettenbach or Old Hauptpost, the old main post office, is a Bavarian masterwork. Okay, that's the Ospedale dei Innocenti in Florence from the 15th century. This is the Palais Thuring Jettenbach, built between 1836 and 1839. Today the building is no longer used as a post office, only the facade, which is reminiscent of the Ospedale dei Innocenti, remains. Behind it is a modern building. The ownership structure is a bit opaque these days. It is linked to the Panama Papers and Russian oligarchs. But here, just a few hundred meters away, at the Odeonsplatz, the beautiful Feldherrnhalle, the Field Marshal's Hall, where the glorious generals of Bavarians past are glorified. Okay, this is Loggia de Lanzi in Florence. This is the Feldherrnhalle. Ludwig really loved the Italian Renaissance style. The Feldherrnhalle was built between 1841 and 1844. The Schwabinger Tor, the northern city gate, had to be demolished in order to build the Feldherrnhalle and the Odeonsplatz. And by the way, the Beer Hall Putsch in 1923 was stopped on the left of the Feldherrnhalle. But here, in front of the Deutsches Jagd- und Fischereimuseum, the German Hunting and Fishing Museum, sits a pig, a real boar, and what could be more Bavarian than a Witzau? You got me again. This is Il Porcellino from Florence. Il Porcellino means piglet. But we don't have a piglet here. This is a real boar. But this time the Italian copy is a statue from a Roman copy of a Hellenistic original. So in Munich we have the copy of the copy of the copy of the original. And then we have this. Oh, fuck you. Munich is often referred as Italy's most northerly city. And there are many reasons for this saying. The lifestyle that people in Munich enjoy, the open air, good food and drinks, as soon as there are only a bit of sunshine. But the other reason is that Ludwig I formed Munich's architecture in the Mediterranean style. So, if someone ever makes a stupid comment like The Americans are just copying Neuschwanstein Castle for the Disney Castle Then you can calmly answer that half of Munich only copied Florence in the 19th century And to take a more serious tone, over 70% of Munich was destroyed in the Second World War This means that most buildings are just copies of their old predecessors anyway But that's okay as it is Cultures always copy, adapt, quote, worship a copy or an architectural quotation is often the greatest form of homage. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and if you're interested in a personalized guided tour through Munich, feel free to contact me. See you on the next video.